There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, what it is, man? How you doing, bro? Should be tweaking. Hey, what you got going on, man? What's what's wrong with your shit, bro? Bro, I don't bro, know. Oh, bro, bro every you. time I go on live, yeah, you're speaking, bro. bro. And then TikTok, shit is fun. TikTok banned me, so you know I can't even, you know. Facts. So the TikTok live would have been better. Instagram. Yeah. I wish we could have done that. That would be much That's better. Facts, though, man. But let's but kick Instagram it off, man. Let's 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 okay. put let's let's give them some divine okay. downloads, okay. man. Let's kick let's it go off. Hey, uh, you, you want to kick it off, man? I'm doing blissful. How are y'all doing? I trust y'all boys, man. I'm Chilling, bro. Oh, what about Casey's you? What here? you got going on? I can't even hear. Someone else is on the live? Shit, anybody can join. Honestly, I don't really care. Right. So, man, let's let's get it started, man. Like, uh, Casey, not, not able to join. Let's get it started, man. Let's talk about retention. Man. What's up, Adavion? Let's get it started. So, hey, how much time you want to clock? Like, how much, like, you want to go to the dome? Do you want time? What do you, what you want? I ain't going to I'm about to just go off the dome, bro. That's how I normally do it, man. Okay. How you? I'm just, you doing? I'm just asking too, cause just so that if we depend on how long, I can make a YouTube video, and then yeah. edit it, all that. So that's usually what I'll be doing. Yeah, you got so much screen recording. Yeah, no. Nah, I so usually if so depending, like you can just do it from when you upload it to Instagram. So are you gonna put this reel on Instagram or just yeah, 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 yeah. So you can you can go into your reel or your upload on Instagram. Take that. You can. Watermark it, break it down, download it, and then it can be a YouTube video. But, so I can show you after this, you know, after teaching this, all that shit. All right, for sure, for sure, for sure. So let's start it off. I want to ask you a quick question. Like, how did you – have you ever practiced retention? And what was the longest you went? And are you currently practicing? Yeah, I went on retention. The longest I went was 15 years. What the and, – Whoa, hold you know, on. <laughs> I mean, but, but no, that was like, that was out the womb, though. That was out the womb. Like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, talking about, was, I'm talking about when you got introduced to, you know right. what I'm saying? So, yeah, no, so that's when I knew about retention, but I lost it. So right now, I'm currently doing scene retention. But, of course, the suck of it called me in my dream last night. So, you know, your boy, yeah, your boy, relax, man. No, hey, I don't. That yeah, is, go. wet dreams don't really count as relapse, they, bro. That's really they more. Don't. They yeah. don't. Like, that's why we're going to break this down because yeah. Yeah. retention, like, sex is just a contradiction to me. But yeah. go ahead, you know, just those shit, do your thing, bro. So I'm a, I'm a, you know what I'm saying? With me, how I first found out about retention and the longest I've been, the longest I've been doing it is my current streak right now, which is about 380, 390 days, almost 400 days, you know what I'm saying? Right. Which is crazy at around the age I'm at because usually people is going to the clubs, having sex with a whole bunch of people. Right. How old is you, bro? Right. You know, I'm I'm an infinite soul, bro. That's all you need to know. I'm done saying my age, bro. But uh yeah, everyone's going around releasing their sexual energy, not knowing this energy you're supposed to hold in, or ancestors was holding it in. You know what I'm saying? They call it the kundalini energy, the snake inside you. They was holding that shit in so it can activate both sides of the brain. They was using this energy to go out and actually have energy to do things. When you release your seed, bro, you're releasing nutrients, you're releasing a whole bunch of things. That's why you feel all sluggish and tired. Everything from your head to your toe goes inside that woman or goes inside your bed sheets. You know what I'm trying to say? So we're really, it's not even supposed to be, uh, it's not even supposed to be crazy or surprising to do this practice and retention because it's supposed to be some normal shit. Right. But see, and what's crazy, I like how you said that too. But the thing is too, what is normal to abnormal yeah. or abnormal deities? <laughs> so it's like, I feel like, and what's crazy, everything you're saying is accurate. And it's too, it's like, I thought like retention is a lost art because our world is, is for one, we're born into lust. That's right. So it's like That's right. off, the, <laughs> off the muscle, all we are conditioned to know is just lust because some people get their first kiss in like elementary school. So off the rip, it's like your subconscious mind knows like, okay, this is a girl or a man. You kiss them, but it's like you get that feeling to where you don't go too far, but if you're curious enough, you may touch so-and-so or she may touch you, he may touch you. So it's like, I feel like, too, depending on the entity as well, their ego determines what's going to happen, what outcome, what trauma they'll be placed with, depending on how they want to act lustfully with this person. So lust, by us being born into lust, we're already demonic programs, forcing ourselves to lust on people that have sex with people. That's why I feel like, too, it's a lost art because people are so, like, it's like they see a woman or a man, you look good. Let's have sex. It's like, <laughs> damn, you ain't even like, you ain't even. You're not even first. wrong. Come on, but, man. Like, make it make sense, bro. And then that, I feel like that's how, as soon as we do that, people don't understand too. Like, 
it's like you busting a nut in a sock. It's like you have numerous socks and you keep busting this nut. Eventually, bro, this one sock gonna have like 1,000 nut stains from this one person. Exactly. So when this person walking around, nut like nut all on the side of me, she's like, pause, but it's like that man is gonna be like, he's like that man gonna talk to this woman and then she's gonna give off her energy from other men and then this man has other women too. It's like, it's a cycle of just unconsciousness. A cycle of energy exchange right. and people not it's in. Big. Yeah, because it's just, it's a lost art because I feel like we are born nowadays. We lack common sense, man. I feel like it really isn't a hard, comp, some, it's not a hard concept to grasp, but energy is right. not destroyed or created, bro. Right. So if you kiss someone, you dap somebody up, you have sex with them, you're exchanging energies with that person. So you'll notice a lot of men that have a lot of sex with women or vice versa, you'll see their emotions. They're very emotional people, bro. They get mad all the time. They, because the energies, that they exchange with that person is onto them. And it's really not them acting because we know you're really the receiver of emotion. Right. Bro. At the end of the day, you are not your emotions. You receive the emotion and you choose whether you give energy towards that emotion because that emotion is not you at all. So people start receiving these emotions and they're tying all these energies with people. So they start acting off that emotion without even knowing. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Right, that's facts. Yeah, because it's like too, like I said it in, our, in the Zoom call that we had, it's like, Every time I look up, I see a blanket of negativity. So mentally, you got to already walk in positivity. And that's hard for all of us to do because every single day, oh, got to go to work, man. And some people, they have a they have a spouse right next to them. People can't tell me, like, you see this person every single day. Your ego going to say, I'm tired of seeing your ass. Like, I want some new people. I want to explore, like, some so free spirits. It's like, just say you want to be a hoe. Just say you want to be promiscuous. Just say you want to get around. You don't got to beat around the bush. Like, no, be real with yourself. But you're right, though. Because we live in negativity, too, I feel like, bro, our spirit is so, our spirit is so silent but so strong to where it voices its opinion. And our ego can't seem to understand that because we block ourselves from actually wanting to go within ourselves. So once exactly. you harness that energy, you're able to literally transcend this whole dimension because even our creator, when he descended, she descended. It was doing the exact same thing, but people can't say Yahweh or Elohim or Yeshua was practicing semen retention because even if the deity was, it was still having sex because the Almighty is all knowing. It's everything yeah. is omnipresent. So it's like God was having sex in a satanic format. So even do a lion, a monkey, a bug. God is having sex right now. So you can't tell me Yeshua was not. I was like, no, I my nigga, no. I agree. So. I agree. Yeah, it's like it's a demonic program. And people have, like, so, for example, one shit I found that was, like, an inner smile meditation. And it's, like, to people who, like, whoever's watching this, once you harness the positive energy, you can, like, smile inward to your organs. So if your body's conscious of itself, you have to go within and actually observe yourself within yourself because you are the universe experiencing yourself physically. So once you do that and you start, god damn. So once you start, once you go within, you begin to, like, like you just say, the emotions. We have to stop feeling sad for ourselves. Okay, so if somebody hit this one shorty or this one man and it didn't go good, move on to the next one. Like, figure out what you did wrong, but then fix yourself and love yourself because it's you're like, you're going to fuck up. You're going to slip up. But don't slip up too much to where you end up having a kid because now you have a kid out of lust. We get trauma and misery. We trauma. get people getting robbed, killed, all of that. So we got to break this spell. That's right. We got to break this shit. That's right. And us doing what we're doing now like i said we're in a luciferian society bro everything is reversed it is it is normalized to go re release your sexual energy you get looked at more as a man or a woman if you have sex with a whole bunch of people which makes no sense to me but here's the thing too like our ancient ancestors they did have multiple partners but not for the same reasons that people nowadays would have multiple partners. They had multiple partners because they understood how powerful the feminine energy was. And they have, if they had one, two, three, four, five more females, more things can get manifested and done. But people want multiple partners because they just want to go around and have pleasure with multiple women. So you know what I'm trying to say, fam? Right. Yeah, I get you because you're basically saying like, so like, okay, so like Playboy Mansion for for example. So I feel like even like Samuel, David, Solomon, Saul, all them. So these different deities in the Bible, they had different concubines because that to me shows how fragile their ego was. Because if you a man, you standing on your tent, you don't need twenty I women agree. to please who you are. Because you can you can know like excuse my language, but you can still be a bitch with fifty thousand women right next to you. <laughs> they don't make you a man. Like, like let's, let's keep it real. Like you can still be a whole ass nigga with fifty thousand oh, women right no, next to you. Bro. It don't make you. It don't make you masculine. It doesn't make you a masculine man. Right. 
It don't. So it's like you right. I thought even back then, but either way though, contradict everything, question everything because for one, he's yep. on 